I'm Gayla Drake Paul. You're watching PremierGuitar.com, and this is a review of the Sangreal acoustic amplifier uh, that appears in print in the October issue of 2009's uh, Premier Guitar magazine. Uh, this this is a 400 watt amplifier, 200 watts biamped. There's a ribbon driver in it, and there's also a low frequency driver. Um, and we have two channels. We have a um, an instrument input, a line in and uh, three band EQ, notch filter and reverb on channel one. We also have um, in, an instrument input, a mic input, and the same um, EQ except for the notch filter on, on channel two. Uh, you have three different reverbs. We've got a monitor level and a master gain uh, all in this amplifier. And I um, have used it quite a bit and I've been really impressed with it. I've really enjoyed it. Uh, the first thing, very full sound, it's a very rich sound. This guitar is very much on the, the bright side, so I have um, uh, boosted the lows quite a bit. I dialed the highs back a little, dialed the mids back a little, and you can see it's really nicely, uh, a nice beefy kind of a sound to it. So I'm going to turn everything flat and uh, so that you can hear what this guitar sounds like. We're going to boost that low. We're going to pull the mid back just a little bit and pull the highs back a little bit. And you can already hear what a difference that's making even when we just pull it back and add it back in. It's very responsive, the EQ. Uh, I was just really impressed with that. So the notch filter is also a very handy. If you do have any feedback, you've got that sweepable control. All the way over here is off. And uh, I, I like the fact that these knobs have, um, they are highly visible, so you can really tell where you are. Um, in, even in the dark, you can see these knobs really, really well. With all of the, the, the gain and the reverb, too, you can tell exactly where you are. We have three reverb types. The first reverb um, is, uh, they call this the, the medium bright sort of reverb. And that's very nice. The second, as you can all, you, I don't know if you can hear on the web or not since we compress this so much, but this is a much warmer reverb and it's again it's a medium, medium decay. And then the, um, the last one is the short decay, but it's also a very warm reverb. I really like um, number two myself, the, the sort of medium warm reverb. That's really my preference uh, for acoustic guitar. It works really well and also works with vocal. It doesn't leave you sounding funny um, when, you, when you're singing, when you have that big cathedral kind of reverb. So it's very, very useful reverb. So you've heard this guitar through it. I am going to plug in a nylon string and uh, let you hear that as well. That you can tell this is a really great amplifier for a lot of different applications. So we'll switch to another guitar. And I'll be right back. So this is a uh, John Dick double forte guitar, uh, nylon string. And you can hear once again very rich sound through it. We are using a, a colossal cable to connect to the, the sand reel today, just in case you're wondering what that is. It's very bright and silver and shiny. I've um, shaved the lows back just a little bit and boosted both the mids and the highs. And I know what you're thinking, Gala, increased mids on a guitar? What in the world? But really. <laughs> So you hear a real robust sound. It's rich and detailed. So you hear it um, quite clearly. And the, the reverb number two is still working really nicely for this guitar. You can hear it's just a, a pleasant decay. It doesn't linger and sound obnoxious at all. We can even crank the reverb up a little bit more so you can really hear it. It's, it still works for this guitar nicely. So you could uh, very easily take, I mean, I, I plugged a Telecaster into it uh, at home and it sounded, it sounded, the, the, the middle and the back uh, and, and, and the bridge pickup sounded a little harsh, but, but really the, the neck pickup sounded fantastic. It was so warm and clear. Um, so, I mean, I've just found this to be an incredibly versatile um, amplifier. The, um, Two details that we'll want to want to point out. Particularly, there's a nice built handle right here that is never going to go anywhere, as much as you want to tug and drag it around. It's a solid handle that's built right into the side. 
Also on the other end, there are the uh, the, the power controls, uh, you know, on and off where you plug the cord in. And there is also a speaker stand uh, jack there. So you could put this onto a speaker stand. Uh, the, it does sound different on its end than it does laying flat on the floor, sort of monitor style. And the way that the pattern goes, if you've got it sort of vertical, it, it covers a wider pattern. This way, it's, it's going a lot up to down, but less, you know, side to side. So if you're kind of depending on the shape of the room you're in or whether you're using it for personal sound, like on a, uh, as your own monitor and you're taking it direct out from this, uh, you might want to think about a couple of different ways to, to position it. Uh, but I have found this to be just a terrifically uh, useful and very uh, sturdy amplifier. Also, I've never really taken it into a situation where it didn't work for me where, really well. So the full review for this is in the October issue, 2009, Premier Guitar Magazine, as is the uh, Tanglewood review. That was a guitar that I was playing earlier. That is also in the October issue. And of course, these, uh, th this video review will be online at uh, premierguitar.com. Um, pretty much until the end of time, I think. So uh, please do feel free to check all of that out, and I encourage you to visit Sangreal on the web as well. Um, I'm Gayla Drake-Paul for PremierGuitar.com. Thank you. Uh -huh.